Welcome to another day of Ether Raids. We are taking on a <laughs> Japanese player here in the first day of Light Dark Season uh, New Week. And uh, here is the brand new Erica. I um, started a, a bit late this week, <laughs> really, really late. Uh, I think at least five hours after reset. But um, we got Erica. Um, I missed the first hour of the multiplier. The multiplier was like two times two. I was like, what? <laughs> Uh, it's never ever a times two, but it was this Where's time, I so I missed that first hour, so I had to wait because the one after that was nothing, so I had to wait. And uh, it took me a while to get the tickets, so I guess that's probably for the best because I ended up getting a couple of copies of first, so it kind of worked out in my favor. It got like uh, three. I was considering going for one I more from the cautious. spark, but I didn't pick up anything else from the banner, so I decided to spark for Amelia um, just because I kind of needed the floor Understood. for something. Uh, for another unit. Uh, so what we're going to do is just test out um, Erica. Let's mm -hmm. see what she can do. Yeah, um, she's plenty this. fast. Really, this is supposed to be a speed speed test, but we're not necessarily in a speed meta. So, you know, not a lot should happen in that regards. Uh, like, I don't really expect her to get outsped, except from maybe, like, uh, Ascended Celica. Uh, emblem Celica, so let's see what I get like in terms of that matchup. But like from what we got here, I think she should be fine. I was just noticing like when I was putting this together that she doesn't have whoa, that is a ton of stats that she's getting there. Plus 42. Jesus, that is so many stats. Yo, that's a, that's over a hundred no, stats like in combat. That is crazy. Huh. Ah, I was noticing that she didn't have uh, no follow-up, uh, so that's something that you have to outsource or give her the seal. Um, so that's one thing to consider because no follow-up does matter a ton in certain matchups, especially if there's like a guaranteed double. Um, and if she's getting her follow-up denied, then you know that can be a problem because if she Where gets hit go? twice, well, assuming that well. If there's a guaranteed follow-up, then the speed check doesn't really matter. So let's say she vantages, she fails to kill, then she Am gets I hit. Uh, I guess she probably would hit again after go. that, so she probably would get the kill. But got this. I, I still think she needs the, the no follow-up. Non nonetheless, I want to... I personally... Uh, I really like no follow-up. I really, really do uh, like having that around. So, um, yeah, it's really an important skill in my books. Faster than not, that's good to see. Even though she, well, Peony's there for the penalty, penalty neutralization, so I guess that works out in my favor. I wonder how uh, she has a two spaces weapon condition. But we've already seen how that matchup works against Ninja Sanaki, so. All I've got. Which is like the only thing that it really matters. Um, I, it was interesting to see what she would have done against Yoon or what she did against. Ooh, don't get the. All right, no, no follow up here. Yo, so many things are triggering, like, so many different effects triggering before the actual combat starts these days. Okay. So far, so good. Um, definitely, again, right there, no follow-up really would have paid div dividends. Um, Let's rumble. What was I going to say? I got to get the pots here before I sweep this. Bless them. Um, I do not object. Man, I totally forgot my train of thought there. Oh, yeah, I was saying it was interesting, the Yoon matchup, because Yoon gets all that uh, I will be DR, cautious. but I guess that DR that Yoon gets is pierceable, if this. I'm not mistaken. So, kind of doesn't matter. Yeah, probably. Mm. Yeah, because Gus, is, uh, Gus reflects the damage, and then she also gets... 50% uh, damage cut from her weapon, if I'm not mistaken. Gus kind of looks kind of lame. I'm, I'm still, like, high, or I have a better opinion of um, Vital Astra. Um, unfortunately, Vital Astra has taken a big hit. It's just, it's it's the cool skill, but it doesn't do very much um, these days. Uh, but I still like it. I, I prefer it over pretty much... the. I prefer it over Godlight Reflexes, and I think I prefer it over this one as well. Um, the, the the win thing is kind of a little bit lame, <laughs> if, if you ask me. Um, but I do like it as a special in terms of the non-pierceable DR. 
let's wrap Ready. this up. We're pretty much done here. Just gonna get the I last bot and Where close this one out. Erica here. I was able to get the well. The only one that I was planning on foddering was to um, Sita, and I've already done that. So uh, I'm Gucci. I don't have any more plans for this unit. But that was a really cool, quick first match. GGs. Let's play one more. All right, here's our second match of the day. We're taking on another Japanese player here, and we got uh, the Erica team once more. Uh, I haven't used Ash in like forever, so I had to dust her off. Like I had to, I had trouble finding her uh, in my barracks reserve. So, uh, but anyways, here we go. Uh, this is the matchup that I actually wanted to see. I wanted to see how well or how badly she does against uh, Emblem Celica here, and it's kind of interesting again that they literally released a, a green unit that specifically counters uh, Emblem Celica in terms of just being able to kill. Um, I, the, 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 the way that IS is, is releasing units these days, it, it's so calculated. They, they know exactly what they're doing, I feel like, lately. And the only thing that really throws a wrench in their plans is, is probably CYL and um, you know what they're going to be doing with the CYL units. But... I feel like they got it figured out, Good man. Morning. They they know what they're doing these days, and only one mythic this time. Uh, it's going to be an interesting matchup between uh, Erica and the units that are pretty much here. I don't know how she'll do against this Dimitri if she'll get the vantage off. I don't know how she'll do against this Ike either. Uh, that is a lot of investment there. A lot of highly merged units. Grid here uh, putting down his frozen effects. Um, his best impression of uh god i forgot what her name was from the show <laughs> um but yeah let's see if i can bait out silica only um maybe this way it's gonna be a little bit tricky her range is so annoying to deal with i think um aside from the fact that this erica kind of counters this silica um the range is still a big part in uh, Emblem Celica's playstyle, so that's not necessarily necessarily something that you could ever replace or counter, since, of course, mm. pass um, Bulwark or uh, Obstruct doesn't work against this Emblem Celica, so you still would need some other... Like, if you're coming against multiple Celicas like I did last week, you're still going to need something else to try to figure that out. Uh, so that's what I'm really trying to do here. I'm just trying to hide the rest of my units so that I so that I can um, take on the Celica safely. Um, I think he should warp to that spot um, to the right. Upon your word. If I move Gato, it should be okay. Okay, I'm just checking if he has any uh, weapon activation conditions aside from the two spaces. Uh, which is common in most units these days, but it looks like it's just that. Go. All right, uh, let's move Gato and get things started here. She doesn't need the uh, the majority of the effects that she has. I'm really just trying to get the speed check done here uh, in regards to to Celica to see if she has to. Okay, still get the vantage off against Dimitri. That's good. I think he probably would have killed if he hit first, but he doesn't have any, uh... Well, he does have DR, but it's getting pierced. Interest. Oh, Celica didn't warp in. That sucks. Um, how do I do this, then? Hmm. I was sure Celica would have attacked there. Huh. What am I gonna do about this? Understood. Where shall I go? Hold on, let me try to think this tr through. I gotta move, and then I also gotta protect Peony, so... Hmm. And this is like the main threat of Celica, the places that she can warp to. I was playing in Arena, and it was so difficult to predict, you know, how to initiate against the enemy team or to try to tank her, because... <laughs> Without Hardy Bearing, you're probably going to die. But the range that she covers in, in Arena is just, like, literally... Well, not literally, but so much of the map is covered in Arena that it's difficult to escape her um, 
if you're like like from where the enemy starts to where you are it's not a lot of space in between especially if there's a dancer so it's really tough in arena with with this emblem celica but i think we should be good here if i set up um a little bit over here and as you can see here i also got a uh, a random copy of um hanoka from the banner that i was summoning on the emblem banner em emblem silica banner <laughs> the legendary banner at the end of last month got a random copy of hanoka and uh peony now has wings of mercy 4 thankfully Understood. because um yeah it was a really big miss you definitely need that on your mythic dancers um because well, at least I do. I use them all the time. So it was a. I feel like it was a good investment. I probably could have waited until Binding Worlds to pick up, pick up a copy. But then sometimes you want to really get like super premium units from Binding Worlds and not Mythics. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Oh, I still get the van. I thought it was dead. <laughs> I still get the vantage off. Ooh, I got a call there. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, you could see that we... We're still able to get the kill on Emblem Celica because of the phantom speed uh, in uh, Erica's B skill, I think it is. Um, but I think if they had a speed blessed mythic, I probably wouldn't have gotten that. Um, yeah, I don't think I would have gotten that if there was a speed blessed. If she got had like four more speed, I probably would have gotten not sped there. But then also the same could be said because I only have Peony who gives the speed buff but then peony's also given drives and celica wasn't getting any drives so i don't know but then also i was inflicted by hrid's where shall i go no 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 uh frozen effects could that have been cautious hmm. because i was getting inflicted by hrid's frozen Three? effect so i may have actually Good won morning. that speed check i don't know upon your word uh i don't know how i, I probably have to test this again well i'm sure we'll get the opportunity later on in the week to test this out again I go. um because trid might have played a factor there because i wasn't getting getting no follow-up so if she was indeed faster than me uh hard to tell without the no follow-up support there because of frid um but yeah i'm pretty sure we can clear the rest of this because we got um baby Golvik here who will be able to take out ike i'm pretty sure we just gotta get him solo and um diamant shouldn't be a problem either we should be good to go here although i feel like i'm gonna be wasting a couple of turns just to get through the mess here that is on this map um i'm pretty sure she'll be able to take care of edelgar because green beats blue although the armored blaze is a little bit of a concern hmm. Oh, I got my door button. Okay. That's good to know for later. Alright, this needs to be a one-tap because uh, I can't have her armored blazing up the place. Let's see. Oh, okay. That that right there is the frozen. So that indeed may have played... Okay, there we go. And that is mythic buffs. If they had another mythic there, I would have probably failed to get that kill. Um, but yeah, the frozen effect the frozen effect is definitely playing a part here in me not getting the double. Um, definitely needs no follow-up. But I needed the HP seal to get to 61 because I only have three mythics. Interesting. Fun times, man. This is really, really good uh, to test out. Um, all right, so how am I going to clear this? Low-key... Gravity, it's so annoying. Mm, I'd like to get Loki off the board. Where shall I go? Breath the life. Fading from there. I don't think she'll win the Ike matchup. Mm. Even with the unpierceable DR, I don't think she wins against Ike. I see. Um so let's set up like this. I got this. Um Where's Ike gonna go? two spaces he should come down to where yeah he should come down to there so i should be able to get the lock on him for the following turn so Master i can then attack with baby Golveg and take him out and then i think we can bait loki this turn yeah this this is a good plan understood i'm gonna lose well i don't have that many 
the no follow up would have been really helpful. But again, where shall I go? Hmm. She's gonna clear my uh, my no follow up because I have too many buffs. Well, I think I should only have two if I pop the dance. Hmm. The frozen effect from Prid really coming in clutch here for the uh, opposing team. I wonder if it's going to be a, a herd exclusive thing because I, I can see that effect being useful on other units. Um, but if it's just a herd exclusive thing, I don't think we'll see too much of it because uh, melee horse cav, not the most popular archetype. Uh, yeah. Let's see what happens here. Okay, Loki coming in. I get the double. She's not, of course, not winning the speed check to um, get the frozen effect on me. Well, it is in effect, but it, it doesn't matter. Let's see what this looks like uh, with Erica versus Hike here. I will be cautious. Oh, yeah, definitely dead. How is he doubling? Oh, right, the frozen effect. Okay. Yeah, definitely dead there. Understood. Um, yeah, definitely dead. Mm. Good to know. Good to know. And it is SDS or is it SDR this week? On our way. Mm. I think SDS. Um, so we're gonna probably be seeing a lot of this Erica here. Um, so we're probably gonna need what, like Hardy Bearing. Well, then I, I say we probably need Hardy Bearing, really? but the thing is, she's still like really bulky, even if you are able to attack first uh, she has the unpierceable DR so well I guess that is you need you need a unit that's also faster than her but then I, I guess also Sanaki with Hardy Baron could probably just kill her that probably makes sense because of how Sanaki works but definitely some type of Hardy Baron um, to try to get through this unit I heard PM1 saying that a Hardy Baron um, which would be a big game changer. Hardy it's Baron wrong. as the X skill, um, as an attune skill, actually would be like really, really good because of how the restrictions, everyone wouldn't be able to get it um, as that X slot. But I definitely could see that as a uh, an X slot that they could sell. I was really just stuck after NCD trying to figure out, there aren't that many that are left. There's Vantage, Hardy Baron, <laughs> Uh, no follow-up and oh, after God, that I really don't know what else they can possibly do they're gonna have to get creative uh, which I mean I, I don't put put it past them in terms of solos for you know stats and stuff but they're really gonna have to get creative um, and I don't put it past them they're definitely things that Where they'll be go? able to do um, in terms of putting out attuned skills but yeah hardy bearing yeah. definitely seems like the next best one that they could probably release in terms of having the biggest impact um i've already i think i mentioned this fodder to uh my Sita, who is now plus not that it matters but it's, i think he's like plus six or five i still got a couple more to talk a couple more copies but i'm gonna hold on to those for now um and yeah um i don't know what to do with the other copies of erica that i have just yet um, probably I'll hold them off until the CYL banner to see what they do with like Alphonse and stuff. Um, I do maybe I should start you. upgrading my uh, mm. Asker trio because I don't. Well, I mean I have to use them for like the the battles and the when they put out those events, special events that you have to use the units. It would also it would help I to know. have them be a little bit stronger. <laughs> they really do suck at killing things. I haven't like invested anything into them, so it's pretty much just base kit that I have on all of them. So I should probably start investing into them, especially my Anna. My Anna is like really not good. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, um, I should probably swap out her weapon altogether. Yeah. Um, gotta take out crit here and the dual button from Baby Goldweg will play a big part in this because otherwise I don't think I would have been able to get over there. Um, let's see. Let's play this. Oh, I finally picked up Mak Makushu Tensei. Um, it's alright so far. Um, I wouldn't say it's like the best in my opinion. 
Uh, I see a lot of people Where like shall I go? highly rating it as the best in terms of adventure fantasy. I still feel like I, I'm probably spoiled because I've be watched cautious. Free Rin before this, uh, and I think Free Rin definitely takes that top Ready. spot. But Mikishu Tensei, um, it's definitely um, Where shall I go? The, the 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 themes. It, it's a lot more realistic in terms of what to expect from it's not a kid's show it's probably what i would say um so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see where it goes um but yeah ggs uh we got a win down that's another win down and um yeah that's it for today see you in the next one